Hello everybody, my name is Jason Dreesen and I'm a plant operator here at the Drake Water Reclamation Facility with the City of Fort Collins Utilities. What is water reclamation? Water reclamation is a neat process where we take all of the used, dirty wastewater that gets sent to us and we treat it, clean it up, and make sure it's safe again to put back into the environment for people further down the line to use. Water reclamation is actually a very complicated process. However, today we're going to talk about three key components. Inflow and screenings, clarifying, disinfection and release. When the water comes into us in the first process, intake and screenings, it looks kind of like this. How do we clean it up? Come on inside, we'll take a look. All of the wastewater, or influent flow as we call it, comes to us through a large network of pipes all throughout the city called the Sanitary Sewer Collection System. All of that water travels by gravity to the facility itself. Here at the Drake facility, we treat as much as 15 to 18 MGD, or million gallons, per day of raw influent or wastewater. This building right behind me, that's where the magic all begins, called our headworks. In our headworks, that's where we're gonna try to remove rags, rocks, debris, as many physical inorganic objects as we possibly can. Anything that's inorganic or physical, hard objects that we don't want damaging our equipment or in the treatment process itself, we remove, put in a big dumpster, and send it to the landfill. We also try to remove human hair which we try to remove through a unique piece of equipment that we call the poo kitty. The poo kitty strains all that human hair for us and puts it in a dumpster that we haul to the landfill. So what should people put down the drain and what should they not put down the drain? Well, we don't want any inorganic hard material such as rocks, debris, hard plastics, trash. That type of stuff should never come down the drain to us. What should you put down the drain? Well, I like to use the three P's as our standard rule pee, poo, and toilet paper. That's what should come down the drain to us. That's what these facilities are designed to treat and clean up as part of the water reclamation process. The second step that we're gonna talk about today in our treatment process is clarifying or clarifiers. Here at the Drake facility, we have two different types of clarifiers. The first being a primary clarifier, and its purpose is to remove sinkers and floaters. Anything that floats, such as grease, is gonna be skimmed off the top, and anything that settles down to the bottom is gonna be scraped off as well. That all gets pumped over to our digesters where that stuff gets digested and broken down even further. The second type of clarifier that we have, which is right behind me, is our secondary clarifiers. Secondary clarifiers are at the tail end of our activated sludge process, which is the primary workhorse of our water reclamation system. Activated sludge is just millions of bacteria that eat and clean and consume all the bad stuff in the wastewater and cleaning it before it gets released into the environment. A secondary clarifier is going to separate that activated sludge from the clean, clear, treated water before it flows on to the final disinfection phase of our process. The final step in our treatment process is called the disinfection phase. We use UV or ultraviolet light to disinfect our water. UV light is going to neutralize or kill off any remaining E. coli or fecal coliform or harmful bacteria that we don't want to put back into the environment. We thoroughly test all of our water to make sure it meets all the standards set forth by the Environmental Protection Agency and our discharge permit. This ditch behind me is called Fossil Creek Ditch, which receives our water after it's been fully treated. That water eventually will flow back into the Poudre River for agricultural purposes and for downstream water users. This whole treatment process that we've talked about today actually occurs in nature. However, we kind of speed it up a little bit in order to make sure we can treat all the water that's coming in to us each and every day. We create an environment that's optimal for water treatment before it goes back into the environment. How long does it take a gallon of wastewater to come into our facility, get treated, and released back into the environment? It takes eight to 12 hours for one gallon of water to come into this facility, be cleaned, treated, and put back into the environment for other folks to use. Really a pretty amazing process when you think about it. Let's take a look at what that water looks like before and after. 
Now that you've seen what takes place at our water reclamation facility, I hope you have a better understanding of how our team takes water that looks like this, cleans it, treats it, and makes sure it comes out looking like this. Thank you so much for joining us today.